The offense, J.D., they have been shaping up. We were there when they played USC. They finished the game strong. However, tonight for Stanford, this is really their last gimme. This is the last gimme. We take gimme. Because after gimmies. that, ranked opponent, ranked opponent, Arizona, who's played both Washington and USC tough, ranked opponent, ranked opponent. Tonight's the last gimme. So let me ask you first, Deion Sanders, primetime, close friend of yours, a man we spent some time with as recently as the last two weeks, is tonight a must-win game? A must-win. You just said it. It's a gimme. We take gimme. I remember on that schedule, we had the, the, the uh, back then it was the Washington Redskins, right? And we had the old Bills, Cleveland. We won them games because mm -hmm. we knew we had to play the Patriots. We had to play Dallas. We, those were going to be good games. So they got to get this game. If, if Coach Prime wins this game, they 5-2. and two. Uh, now mm. Think about this for a second, though. Look good. These boys won one game last year, Joy Taylor. Mm -hmm. Now you coming this year 5-2? and two? Look good. Come on. Look so good. They got to win this game just for the re re recruiting, respect. And to see where they place at, as yep. far as now at five and two, and then you look forward to playing on big games. Yep. Anything can happen on big games, right? You, you look up; they might have lost what four games this year, three games. That's a great, and that's a win. That's a successful season for Coach Prime before he got his real dog. So go out there and win this game, Coach Prime. We need this. One hundred percent. Yeah, I'm with you, Shay. Doesn't it feel like it's like some kind of like low vibes around hey. Colorado. Like, <laughs> do it again. Like, <laughs> like, I mean, I go back. You got some loose shoulders. My, uh, my jaws look. My jaws are stiff. <laughs> they won one game last year. One. One game. They win this one, and just one more, and they're in a bowl game. They won all the games they were supposed to win based off of that TCU win. Correct? Yeah. You know they've been closer than we wanted them to, and that USC game was closer than USC wanted it to be. Seems I was a little bit right about that USC win, by the way. The same. They did go to triple overtime with Arizona, their backup quarterback, just had to get that in there. I think this is a must-win game for Prime because this is a game he's supposed to win and the expectations have changed. We do expect them to get into a bowl game, so you're going to need to win this game tonight. It is going to get rougher for you, but I think it, when you take a look at what has already been accomplished there, it's, it almost feels like we're, like, down on them. Oh, I'm, like, like, I'm like, everyone's, like, not as excited. Like, it's not, as, not a big of a deal. Like, if they yeah. get to a bowl game, they won one game last year. Yeah. When, after tonight, if they get a win, they're poised for one more win and go to a bowl game. How incredible is that? Mm -hmm. It's still a very exciting story to me. So, yes, it is a must-win game tonight. They're favored by 11 and a half. Mm. They should win this game. They have Travis Hunter back, which is very exciting, a very good positive Yes, it game. is. Yeah. So I expect them to win tonight. James Jones, tonight is the biggest game of the season for Colorado, and yes, I will say that every game going forward oh, because yeah. every game going forward <laughs> is the biggest game of the season for Colorado. Mm -hmm. You have to win tonight to get to five. Yeah. The magic number in college football is six. Yeah. So you got to win another one to get to six. So after you win tonight, Colorado, what you better do, you you gotta go find another one, but it's gonna be hard to find. Cause Wazoo needs it. Mm. Utah needs yeah. it. UCLA needs it. Ooh. Oregon State needs Ooh it. In Arizona, they need it too, because they will be fighting for a bowl game as well. You have to win tonight. And not only do I need them to win, they need to look good again for me, James yeah. Jones. Yeah. They have not looked good since they played Nebraska in week two. Yeah. In week two. Consistently. 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 Just a, a total football game. Like, right? offense looked yeah. kind of good at the end of USC, yeah. but the defense was atrocious the whole game. Yeah. Last week versus Arizona State, nobody looked good. Yeah. Won by three points against a bad ASU team. Colorado State didn't nobody look good besides Shador. Mm -hmm. I need to see top to bottom a game put together. You yeah. got to win it, James Jones. Absolutely. And this is the game. What I do with this one? Circle this one. This one That's what I did. Oh, yeah. That's what I did, Joy. I circled this one right here. Come on, man. This is a must win. And the reason why it's a must win, because you get yourself to five and two. Yeah. I don't care. There's nobody up here on this desk. Think Prime going to lose one, two, three, four, five in a row. He's going to find a way to win one of those games. I don't care who it is, ranked opponent, unranked opponent. He's going to find a way to win one of those games. It's going to be extremely hard to find a way to win two of them. Yes. So you have to get this one done against Stanford, and I'm with you, Acho. You're going into the bye week after this. If you can get this one done in a dominant fashion and go into the bye week with a couple extra, with an extra week to prepare for UCLA then who knows what's going to happen in that game if you get yourself in the rhythm, especially with Travis Hunter back. But you got to get this one done. This is the one I circled. Last week I circled. To be able to get yourself to a bowl game, you got to win these games right here. And then you get an extra week to prepare for UCLA. And I got my money on prime if he get an extra week to prepare for UCLA. Coming off of a dominant win against Stanford. But this one here.
<laughs> but James, Most important. James really and wrote, I'm still circling. Because he used to be fake circling stuff on his notes usually, so he wrote Stanford so he could actually You know what I'm saying? Wait, Chip Kelly's the coach of uh, UCLA? UCLA? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't, don't let Chip cost you money twice. Man. I got to call Prime. Like, I, need, I need this. I need, uh, uh, and you know why? It's, it's personal. personal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yes, it is. Uh, Shady, here's the other thought process I don't think people are talking about. There are two ranked teams that currently have two losses. LSU. Shout out to your nephew. And Notre Dame. LSU, Notre Dame. Two ranked teams that got two losses. Mm. If Colorado can handle business against Stanford, the, they're 5-2. and two. The dominant, If they get back right. into that top 25, their two losses would be to Oregon and to USC. Yeah. If you can get back into that top 25, we can start talking about you collectively again. Mm. It's hard to talk about an unranked team. Like, only time we talked about unranked Colorado was before TCU. And that's because TCU was ranked, yeah. and TCU was coming off a national championship, and it was Dion's first game. Shady, if Dion can win this one, mm. five and two, only two losses are versus, you know, two really good teams, yeah, then good. the momentum can start to come back. But if you lose, mm. you're not top 25, you lost uh, to Stanford, recruiting is kind of like, wait, what y'all doing? Like, I mean, I, I agree with you to a certain extent, but we, we do got to keep in mind that, yes, it is Coach Prime, it is Dion Sanders, he got, a, he got his players he brought, but they lost, they won one game last year. Mm -hmm. So anything now is like, is like icing on the cake. And, and, and I, I hate to say it like that, but because there's no moral victories in sports. Sure. But man, I'm just thinking about this for a second. The worst team you ever played in college, whoever they may be. You win one game, then a new coach comes around, and then you, 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 you five and two? That got to stand for something. And I, I just, that just shows you what's, what's for the future for this team. Because next year, they're going to be real, real good. More experience. They, they know what to expect. Better, better recruits. Deion Sanders, as, as Coach Prime, being a better coach. I think he's a really good coach now. I think next year he's going to be even better. Right. As the years goes on, you get more experience. So I'm already um, applauding him and praying him already on what the season and the job he's done already. I just think that the, the ice on the cake, if they beat, they're going 5-2, and two, yeah. and they go against some of these big schools, and maybe they might get a surprise and beat one of these teams. But it's going to be a battle. But I'm just saying, right now, the job he's done, I, I, all the praise and the glory to, to, to Coach Prime and his, and his Colorado Buffalo. Real quick, is it a success if they, a successful season if they don't make the play, uh, bowl game? I will say no, and I will give you a detailed mm -hmm. explanation as to why. Please. Um, we are praising Deion Sanders not exclusively for what he's done on the football field. What he has done on the football field, we have seen before. Mm -hmm. Context, Matt Rule goes to Baylor, takes over a Baylor team that was in shambles off the field and in shambles on the field. Uh, Baylor. Takes them from a one-win team to a 10-11-win team. This is Baylor that is in Waco, Texas. Not Austin, not Dallas, not Houston. Mm -hmm. We've seen that. We saw Lincoln take USC, a four-win team, to an 11-win team last year. Now, you say that's USC. USC wasn't getting no recruits. Mm -hmm. USC's been in shambles since Pete Carroll left. They've had, like, three different ADs and about three to four different coaches. So we've seen that happen as well. We got boys in, in, in coaching at places like Texas State, Tate, my own homeboy, G.J. Kinney, who's coaching there now, who took that team from nowhere to major upsets this year. It's not just about what Dion's doing on the field. Mm -hmm. It's what he's doing off the field. What he's doing on the field, we've seen seen before. Mm. We've seen before. I've seen one-win teams win five games. I've seen one-win teams win four games. Now, I ain't seen a one-win team win nine or ten games, yeah. but we've seen that before. Yeah. What we haven't seen before is what he's doing off the yeah. field. So, I need to see... You gotta win but, a bowl but, game. What, what about, like but this. what about for Colorado? The last time I remember Colorado being good was either Cordero Stewart and, uh, and they had the, the, Eric Bieniemy and them, and them guys. It wasn't that recent. I, but, Colorado was good in, I believe, 2018. Andy fact-checked I mean, me. But Colorado uh, was... Other than the running back that played for Denver, uh, um, uh, Lindsey? Philip, Philip Lindsey? I don't know if so many guys that went to Colorado. I, I never... Yo, I've been playing in the NFL for a long time. I did a short period in college, but I, I never talked to, or thought about Colorado. We never was even a conversation. Sure. When we went there, I was like, yo, we, we really about to go to Colorado? Remember I kept saying sure. that? I was like, yo, we about to go to Colorado for like a game. Yeah. Wait, we about to go to Colorado for work. I couldn't believe it. So I get what you're saying. We've, we've seen it before. You talk about Baylor and USC. I, I, a lot of coaches come there and win games there. Bay, or Colorado? Yeah. But also, even if they don't win. make a bowl game, if they win five games but don't end up making a bowl game, that is, that is still a significant turnaround from a one-win team. Sure, but it's not. Before. It is, and I agree with you exclusively and you on that wholeheartedly. But what it is not, it is not worthy of discussing yeah. every day on every show because we've, we've seen that. So we've seen that so many not, times. But here's what USC and Baylor does not have. Prime. Of course. So of course. regardless of, of how, if USC won five games off of one game or, or Baylor won five games off of a one win season, they don't have 
Deion Sanders there. What's that oh, mean? What's that mean when you say that? Because the turnaround is based off of recruiting, which Dion is not going anywhere. Like, if you will you lose some recruits because they want to go somewhere that they feel like they're going to win right now? Yes. Mm -hmm, right? Of course. That, that will happen. Will you get some recruits because they saw what the sideline was when we were there for the USC of game? <clears throat> yes. So, it's, so obviously you want to win. I'm not going to argue against wanting to win. It's always better if you win more. But what I'm saying is if they win five or six games, they don't make a, a bowl this okay. year. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to look at this season as a failure in any capacity because we weren't talking about USC Correct. and we weren't talking about Baylor. And the difference is what is off the field, which is exclusively yeah. prime. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm with Acho on this. On the field, I truly believe it's a failure because you this close to getting five. You got Stanford in front of you. You this close to getting to number five. You need one more. It's going to be tough to get two out. If you lose this one, it's going to be tough to get two to get to a bowl game. I just think when we look at it and we come out of this thing and say, yes, they did improve from one game to four games instead of one game to six games and a bowl game, with what Prime's done on the football field, I think that is going to speak volume to recruits, to whoever that, look, we went from here to a bowl game. Now we went from here to four wins and still didn't make a bowl game. So I think this one's big. I think a bowl game is huge. And I think if they don't make a bowl game, strictly on the field, what Prime has done off the field, no other coach can even compete with Prime when no. he's done off the field. But on the field, I think a bowl game is, is huge. Or the football season on the field. Coach them. Jones. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak. And go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.